In 2015, we celebrate the 100th anniversary of what we now know as the general theory of relativity. On May the 1st, 2015, we embark on a three-day Beethoven piano cycle. The centerpiece of the first festival weekend is a grand Beethoven cycle. All of his 32 sonatas, over seven recitals, over three days. This is your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of hearing all of the Beethoven sonatas. And what pianists have we assembled for you? Gabi Sultana, she has emerged in Europe as one of the most versatile pianists. Kotaro Nagano, the recent winner of the Chopin competition here in Canberra. And playing the two biggest sonatas is Maria Mazzo, Russian-German pianist now based in Munich and the winner of the 2013 Beethoven piano competition. And then the Australian National Academy of Music, Alex Ranieri from Brisbane, who recently won the Shepparton Piano Competition, all the way from Wellington, Andrew Leithwick, and from Melbourne, Matthew McMillan. There couldn't be a Canberra festival without Bach. Canberra loves Bach. The opening concert of the festival on Friday evening is our signature event, a musical time capsule going from the 1720s all the way to now and back. And it features the Festival Bach Ensemble, as well as Amy Dixon on the saxophone, Claire Edwards on percussion, and William Barton on didgeridoo. The concert will actually finish with an interstellar feat of baroque sound mixed with contemporary organ and saxophone and even electric guitar. On Monday at 6 p.m., we present the famous Israeli piano duo for you, Gil Garburg with his wife, Sivan Silver. On Tuesday, the 5th, we take you back to Russia, the year 1915, the end of the Tsarist era. Sergei Taniev, his famous piano quintet by him, that features Daniel Deborah and the Tenali string quartet. And we also feature piano music by Alexander Skriavi, who also died that same year. His fourth sonata, as well as his very last piano work, Ver la Flamme, or Towards the Flame. The festival is proud to present in its entirety Hildegard von Bingen's Ordo Virtutem. This is a work about medieval cosmology written in the middle of the 12th century. This too is a unique event for the festival. We present the ultimate twilight composer. When I think of twilight, I think of the beautiful sunsets that I've grown to appreciate here in Canberra. So at 6 p.m. on that Thursday, we present Johannes Brahms, his wonderful string quartet, brought to you by the New Zealand String Quartet. The Canberra Festival's daytime events have grown legendary. They explore the great architecture of the city, on Mount Stromlo, in the burnt-out shell of the Yale Columbia Telescope, we take you to the Shine Dome. We present the festival's young string players from Annan, led by Christian Winter. And on the Thursday, we take you to the National Botanic Gardens. When I first visited the gardens, I was so struck by their beauty. And on Friday, we present an event called From the Letter to the Law, that starts in the Australian National Library, and that finishes in the High Court. Both institutions have been part and parcel of the festival with a unique event at 3.30 on Friday afternoon to honor the great legacy of Barbara Black. Two quartets, the New Zealand String Quartet together with the Tenali Quartet, a true Anzac event to present Mendelssohn's famous and immortal octet. And we are very thrilled to also be able to present to you Australia's Outback Choir the Murrumbilla Boys and Girls, or the Murrumbilla Voices. For all those Philip Glass nuts out there, this is your moment. The piece runs for 210 minutes uninterrupted. And to close off the festival, we are bringing Deborah Conway to Canberra again for extracts of her 2013 album, Stories from Ghosts. Come and join us at the 2015 Canberra International Music Festival. Music, Einstein, and you.